right, we're going to talk about Traction and the series of books and the course and, and all about Traction by Gino Wickman. So over the course of being an entrepreneur, I am continually trying to find frameworks for my businesses and grow myself as a leader and now as a business owner, a corporation with employees and the transition from being a solopreneur entrepreneur into an actual corporation with employees was not an easy one for me. It wasn't arduous, but it wasn't like, oh, you just do this. There's no, there's no roadmap. And I would say the EOS system has given me the best roadmap possible for moving from a solopreneur into a traditional small business with employees. This month, we are going to be tackling some of the other stages of growth and books that I found that are great on the stages of growth. But specifically, I want to start with the traction model. <clears throat> So here are all of the pieces that are inside of Traction. There are six different cogs in this wheel. And what Gino says is when you have these six right, then you get traction and then you could start making uh, forward growth. And in the next couple of books where we're gonna talk about the stages of business, there are different pieces inside of this pie that get pulled offline. And that's when you kind of falter and don't have the upward momentum that you want. So these six stages are vision, like I have a vision as the owner of the business, but am I showing that to my team members? Am I painting it in a picture that they can grasp onto and understand where we're going? Data, <laughs> not my strong suit, but now I love it. Like how much money do we have in the bank? How much are things going to cost us? What are our numbers? Both financially, but also what are our numbers as far as customers and all of those other things? So all of that data. Then process, which I have resisted. <clears throat> the ability to put all of those details in order, no matter how many they are, like it takes 18 different things for a, a podcast to get published. What are those 18? What is the order? So that anyone could come in and follow that process. Um, issues or problems or things that are divisive within the company. How do we solve those? How do we bring them up? How do we come to a resolution? And that inside of Traction is called an IDS list. We inside of our company call it the corporate Sunday basket. So anything that is not moving along goes into what we call the Sunday basket. Traction calls it IDS. And then people. Do you have the right people in the right seats? And one of the things that I've worked on for a long time is that everyone inside of the Organized 365 Corporation is working at their highest unique ability and that they are contributing and enjoying their job so much that they tend to forget that they're even coming to work. So all those pieces together are traction and inside of the traction piece are your rocks, another fancy word for goals, and your meetings. So the rhythm of the meetings that you have in your company. Now I want to talk to you about all four of the books. You see that I own them and there are so many notes, so much highlight in them. I started listening to podcasts about EOS. I was in strategic coach for a year as a mastermind. And when I was in strategic coach, I found a lot of the business owners there use the EOS model which allowed me to dive even deeper into it. The first book I read is Traction. Um, and inside of Traction, it takes you through the logical, analytical, my fact finder loved knowing this is exactly what these six pieces are. This is how you grow them over time. The second book that I read was called Get a Grip. And Get a Grip is a fictional story about a company going through the traction process. What does it look like to put those six pieces of the pie into your company and actually gain traction, especially if the company doesn't have many of those pieces in place? And while our company was not floundering when I read this, we didn't have those pieces in place because we just didn't have that many people. <laughs> I just hadn't thought about it and we weren't that big yet. So we kind of have built ours as we've grown. The fictitional story takes a nice big company that's kind of faltering and then puts all of those pieces in place. I'll be honest, when I read these books, I thought, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes 12 to 18 months to write the ship and get traction in place, but I, I will be able to do it in three to six months because I'm gonna double down on this and focus on this. Newsflash, 12 to 18 months to put it into play. I also have hired an EOS integrator. Mine is Worthy Endeavors out of Kentucky. Uh, John and I meet on a regular basis and go over um, our vision and our traction and I am working on developing a leadership team within Organize 365. I was able to put a lot of pieces in place just using the books, but now with the coach that's helping me as well. So a lot, um, Gino suggests 
that every single person read the book, What the Heck is EOS? And I met someone in my strategic coach mastermind who did. They buy the book, What the Heck is EOS? And they give it to every single employee and every single contractor that comes in contact with his company. His company is way larger than mine, like a hundred times bigger than mine. And I could see why he has that piece in place. I bought the book, really didn't do anything for me. I had our team get it. I never really followed up on it. It was, um, I'm not putting every single piece of EOS into place in my business. And so we didn't really need every employee to read that book. Every employee has read Get a Grip so that they see kind of how that meeting flow goes. The last book that I bought in this series that I really enjoyed as well is called Rocket Fuel. Now, Rocket Fuel is when you take the visionary leader, that's me, and you pair them with a, um, a director of operations or a COO or someone who is going to run the whole operations of your company. I have tried to do this three times. I have not succeeded any time. Every time I get a little bit better. I love this idea of Rocket Fuel and the yin and yang of the visionary and the operator. What I have come to realize is I was trying to put that piece in my company too soon. We have 10 people on staff at the time of this recording. I think it'll be more when you are actually watching it. But I have now realized that while I think there is a role for the visionary and the integrator operator, our company is not ready for that yet. And because I'm such an avid reader and I love to follow the system, I was putting things in the system in place before I needed them because I was at a different stage in business. So what are those stages in business? You're gonna have to come back on Monday. The next two Mondays, I will be re reviewing two different books about stages in business.